Hi, Dr. Mindy Curry here. I'm a naturopath in the Portland area. I have a house call practice. I do house calls in the greater Portland area. I also have a clinic in Milwaukee. But today, I'm out in the garden and I want to show you all about this plant here, Skullcap. Scutellaria latifolia. The whole of the aerial parts right now in this uh, blooming period, this is the medicine that we're going to collect. We're going to make a tincture out of it. Um, Scutellaria has a lot of flavonoid glycosides, including scutellarin and scutellian. Scutellarian. It's got volatile oils, bitters. Basically, it's known as a nerve tonic and a sedative and an antispasmodic. The whole of these parts are usually collected late in August and September, and here we are, it's August, so it's time to collect these. What it really is great at is relaxing states of nervous tension and tonifying the central nervous system. It can be specifically used in what we might call hysterical states, such as nervous fears, restless sleep, when your heart's pounding with your nerves and you can't pay attention, you have a nervous stomach. It's also great for spasms and seizures and epilepsy, really any exhausted and depressed conditions and also premenstrual cramps. It's great combined with other sedative nervines such as valerian, kava, California poppy, other adaptogens such as ashwagandha, holy basil, American ginseng, and mimosa tree. And we usually use this as a tea or a tincture. So let's get out there and harvest some of this beautiful skullcap, make some medicine. Okay, like I said, we're going to be harvesting the scutellaria, the skullcap, the entire aerial parts. I like to not go all the way down because a lot of times these guys will regrow. So I'm going to go leave some of the plant at the bottom, grab these guys. There's another one back here behind this uh, pepper plant. Looks like it's in good condition. I'm going to grab that one too. I've got a whole other patch of them kind of over here. See they're growing right here. I'm going to grab nice flowering ones over here too. That'll give us a nice little batch to make some school cap tincture with. And here we are back in the kitchen with all the things we need to make a school cap tincture. Mainly a jar, some 80 proof vodka, a knife, and there it is, beautiful school cap. You can see it's got a square stem, little purple flowers, and rather mint like leaves. Not a lot of smell right now, but boy, it's going to be very distinct once you tincture it. Okay, and basically what you want to do is take your skull cap, chop it up into little bits. We want it to be fairly small little bits so that the alcohol will be able to penetrate and extract all the goodness. So here we have all our skull cap piled up and chopped up. Better put it in a jar. When you're making a tincture, home style, you just want to really, you want to fill up that jar pretty, pretty tight, but you don't want, don't want to be too tight. Don't want uh, the alcohol not to be able to penetrate. But you do want it to be, I would say, firm but spongy. You want to get it all the way to the top where there's a, still a little give. There it is all in there. We're going to add our 80 proof vodka. Make sure the rim is clean before you put the lid on. Put the lid on carefully to make sure there's nothing sticking out. It's going to mess with the seal, get gunky. And this now is a tincture, ready to go in 
and extract all that wonderful goodness from the scootal area. Don't forget to label your bottle. Bunch of creepy green bottles in the cupboards, no good. Also, you're going to want to keep that in a cupboard for maybe a couple months. And if you can, give it a good shake every day. That'll really get those compounds extracted extra good. There it is, a lovely tincture of scutellaria. When you're done with a couple months of letting it extract, you're going to want to squeeze that out with some cheesecloth or, a, or an herb press. And then enjoy! So now that I've shown you how to make some wonderful medicine, I want to remind you that it's very important to go see a doctor or a naturopath or at least an herbalist before starting any herbals for your conditions. For one thing, you may not really understand what your diagnosis is. You may think it's just a little bit of this and that that can be treated with some plants when it's really something serious and you're missing it and it could, could be fatal. Um, also, there are interactions between herbs and drugs and there's also contraindications between some of the problems you may be having and the herbs you may think you need. <laughs> so don't start taking anything willy-nilly unless you're sure what's going on. And to be sure, come see a naturopath like me. I'm in Portland, Oregon. I do house calls in the greater Portland area and I also have an office in Milwaukee.